Good morning guys and welcome back to the Jogjakarta area. I've finally gotten out of what seems to be like the central uh, sprawling suburbs and everything in the city. I'm, it's finally becoming a little bit more rural. Uh, my goal today is just, I rented a scooter, hey, yippee ki I got me a scooter for the day. I love driving these things, they are so much fun. Um, so the goal today is just to put a lot of kilometers on, explore, drive around, have fun, check out a beach. Maybe some temples, we'll see. Join me, it's gonna be an epic, fun day. That truck was full of coal. I could see it uh, heaping uh, up there, like piled, piled up over the sides of the back of the truck. So I'm pretty hungry, so I think first priority, uh, or maybe not first priority, but very soon I gotta get me some food. Thank you. <laughs> cool. What is this? Ah, uh, what is it? No, I am, uh, so, so I am Sabi. So, so, uh, no Soto? <laughs> no. Soto, okay. Uh, Soto Black. <laughs> Soto, okay. <laughs> Hello. Uh, Soto? Soto Ayam? Soto Ayam? Yeah. The Rapa Harganya? To a place. Okay, okay, yeah. one. <laughs> All right, I stumbled into a little shop here, a little resto, and I'm gonna try this soto ayam. Soto ayam. Makasi. <laughs> it's uh, noodles, rice, and chicken. Ayam is chicken, I've learned. And soto is, I guess, is the rice and noodles? I'm not sure. It's like thin noodles or whatever. Anyways, I've had it a few times. It's really, it's delicious. It's always one of the cheaper dishes. Here she said it's 12k, which is about a Canadian dollar, like 75 cents US, 80 cents maybe. It's really hot, but it's really good. Makasi. Yeah, sama sama. Makasi, makasi, makasi. Bye bye. Ah uh, no, it's okay. Oh no, yeah. Makasi, makasi. Hello. Ah, no, I, I go, I go. What time will you leave? Yeah, Georgia Carter, Georgia Carter. Yeah, yeah, Georgia Carter. Yeah. I don't. I wish I could uh, communicate better. I mean, I can't communicate at all in Bahasa Indonesia. These people are all very friendly, speaking to me, but I have no idea what they're saying. And uh, I gotta hit the road anyway, so. All right, and we're back on the old dusty trail after a nice breakfast, nice first meal of the day. Um, I saw on the map that there's what appears to be like some small temples or ruins very close to here. I have no idea what it is, but I'm gonna see, see what's up. Finally getting out into like the rice terraces uh, where it's nothing but uh, Nature. Oh, I'm so happy to finally be out of the urban area of Jogjakarta. It just sprawls forever. Look at this. This is beautiful. Now, this is what it's all about, baby. This is the goal of today, is just to experience as much open emptiness as possible. Nature and stuff. All right. Well, once again, I do not know where I am. So, pull off to the side. Check the old map. Can you just walk in here for free? Guys, holy smokes. As I continue to hear uh, here in the Georgia area, there are so much more than Boro Bordur and uh, Bra Brampanan. <clears throat> Sorry if I'm pronouncing those wrong. <laughs> uh, and this was totally free. The guy just asked me to uh, fill out, like, uh, to sign in a book or whatever, put my information in a book. Totally free. You don't need a ticket. I don't know what all these, these stones are, but check out this uh, little temple. Hey, I'm just going to do free stuff today. That's going to be the theme of today. I'm only doing free stuff. Not paying uh, the jacked up tourist prices for the big sites. This is beautiful. All right, I'm back on the main highway. Uh, the, my scooter here doesn't have anywhere to put my phone with my map on it. So the, my problem is I'm having to stop every uh, couple minutes or every few minutes just to check the map here. 
Um, I'm gonna head over to uh, the Brampanan area. Mer Merapi, I think. Merapi volcano. Uh, it's been erupting. People have been evacuated. We're gonna pass relatively close. Maybe we'll get some views of that. That'll be cool. I'm in the middle of nowhere now. Uh, no tourists around here, I don't think. Just another example of the beautiful spots you can find uh, when you rent a motorbike and get off the uh, tourist trail a little bit. Got some kids over here waving at me. Let's go uh, see if they're still waving. Hello! Hello! <laughs> yeah, they love that. <laughs> Stick your camera on them. That's funny. Point three liters costing one thousand seven hundred. Oh, sorry, seventeen thousand rupiah. Yeah, and I went almost a hundred k. So I'm getting like sixty to seventy kilometers per liter so far. <laughs> Man, that's like one hundred and thirty, hundred forty miles per gallon or something. Makasi, makasi, bye bye. First time buying gas, uh, other than the very first time, <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's not very expensive it's super fuel efficient it's what i love about this by the way i paid 9,000 rupiah which is six us dollars to rent this hog for 24 hours um and i'm planning on putting as many kilometers on it as i can trying to zip around see as many spots as i can enjoy the freedom uh oh broken glass here on the road someone had a fender bender oh yeah might have been that oh yeah i see it see that broken light on the bottom back right of that truck there all right, well, for the first time of the day, I feel like I've truly gotten off of the main roads. There's virtually nobody up here. I'm heading up the side of, you know, towards the volcano. Like, I wouldn't say it's the side, but we're, we've been going uphill for a while now. Uh, and there's barely anyone in sight. Just uh, the occasional vehicle, small shops, loads of greenery. We're basically in the middle of a thick forest now. Yeah, the further up uh, the slopes of the volcano we get oh they got a motorbike rental place there i keep seeing more and more jeeps these big jacked up jeeps with these huge tires uh atvs and dirt bikes uh for rent every uh, in many of these shops uh, i guess for those who want to get off the paved road here and really get to explore the uh, nature near this volcano but i'm happy with my uh, rental for the day <laughs> scooter yeah a lot of jeep tours i suppose more over there oh yeah jeep here Jeeps everywhere. <laughs> so I, I go. Yeah. Um, it's, it's possible to drive. I can drive. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. I decided to splurge. 4K. Uh, you know, it's basically not the 25 cents US. Mmm. Smells like hot brakes. Hello. Hey. <laughs> Hello. Oh, someone lost a hat. I pulled off the side of the road there uh, for a pee break actually, and I found a little parking area. And look at this, there's a path that leads from the parking area. If it was clear, I think you could see the top of the volcano. And it's just this beautiful, completely empty nature area. There's even like a sort of picnic area, or I mean seats here with a view of this valley down below. Oh my goodness, and there's a little river down there. And you can actually see so far out. We're pretty high up. This is absolutely incredible, and this is totally free. And I found it just by chance, just by pulling off the road to go pee. And uh, you would have never seen this if you'd taken a tour or taken any other type of transportation. You need your own transportation in order to stop at a place like this. I'm in a convoy of these 4x4s, loads of tourists. Uh, it's, un it's incredible to me how many tourists there are going up this mountain. And uh, basically every tourist I've seen so far looks like an Indonesian. I haven't seen anyone who looks like a Western tourist. They're all in big groups, usually in convoys of these Jeeps. We 
you can finally see what looks like the peak of the volcano. The clouds are clearing just a little bit here. Let's see if I can get it on camera. There it is. Well, this seems to be the end of the road because the road kind of goes back down that way. Maybe I can con continue a little bit further. I'll see. Check it out. They've got some kind of rocket here aimed up towards the volcano. How about that? Beautiful, man. This has been worth it for sure. Getting pretty decent views of this volcano and it's just been a beautiful, beautiful drive through pure nature. All right, man, I made it back down the uh, side of the volcano there and uh, my engine was turned off for what felt like 10 minutes or something, the whole way down, basically I just coasted, just had my hands on the brakes the whole way. <laughs> and man, this drive is just unbelievable. Look at this, small rural village type vibes. A lot of greenery, everything is green. So many palm trees, forested areas, rice terraces. But this is beautiful. This is what it's all about, man. There are a few uh, feelings as exhilarating as renting a scooter or motorbike in a country like Indonesia. Uh, and once you get out of the cities, which are a little more, he which are quite hectic and for me a little stressful driving in, uh, the countryside is just epic adventure and uh, so exhilarating and so much fun, man. One of my favorite activities to do while traveling. Okay, I've come to the Prambanan ruins. You can see them over there, or the uh, temples, I should say. Don't know how well you can see that on here. Um, yeah, I went there 13 years ago. They're really spectacular, worth going in, but today I'm not gonna go. I see rain coming. So I'm thinking about finding a place where I can uh, get shelter from the rain and have lunch, I guess, while I wait out the rain. I hope it doesn't last long because I was hoping to drive all the way to the coast, which is going to take a while. I imagine at least an hour to get to the nearest beach area. Man, I was just uh, passing by this area <clears throat> kind of up. Uh, I, I, I'm at the top of a hill, basically. I had to cross like a pretty big hill. And um, I saw these little roadside restaurants and they, I stopped at one and it's got this incredible view here from this little terrace. Unbelievable, man. The things you stumble into, eh? All right, this is the meal. I can't believe this is 5K, uh, 33 cents US because in town, I think this would be at least double. It looks amazing when you try it here. I think I've had something similar. There's like biscuits, there's chunks of um, like meatball, I guess. So I think it's chicken and like a soupy broth. Love this, man. Absolutely amazing. Mm. Yeah, that's delicious. I needed that. And look at the view. Terima kasih. Yeah, Terima kasih. Yeah. <laughs> bye bye. Yeah. Bye -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. Unbelievable success. I absolutely love those little restaurants. I can't believe it was like half the price of what you'd pay for that in Jogjakarta, in the city. It was 33 cents for that whole pedo. Uh, it doesn't get it doesn't get cheaper than that and it was delicious. It was a solid meal It was a you know, not a huge portion, but it was still a solid meal And it was so good and those ladies were so kind and the view is unbelievable. What a score. I can't believe it All right guys, I'm basically there at uh, the spot I'd chosen on the map there that shows a beach I'm actually not even positive if I'm able to access the beach road with a scooter. Okay, that looks like I have found a way here. I don't know why there's no vehicles on this road. It feels strange and suspicious. I hope I don't get in trouble. All right, guys, all this driving today has led me to this finally found a beach and I gotta say it's really nice man look at these beautiful cliffs I don't know how well you can see that on the camera here got umbrellas quite a lot of people some ETVs over there it looks beautiful it's really beautiful
well as usual you drive like what maybe a kilometer or so out of that busy central area maybe 2k and you get a completely completely deserted empty stretch of beach and even the shops up there on the road right by the beach they're all closed there's no there's almost nobody around there were a few sort of sketchy looking characters on the drive over here like nearby so i'm not sure what the vibe is over here what the situation is but it's pretty decent beach there's a bunch of junk but back on the other side it looks pretty much fine so I might go for a dip I just absolutely love these rice fields rice paddies or whatever rice terraces they got them all over including here and on this drag this perfect condition highway connecting two areas of beach about 10k apart let's go check out the other one before I head back to the city to return the scooter Final frontier here, the last little spot that I'm going to check out today. Hello. And yeah, it was definitely worth it. This beach is, uh, well, there's virtually no people. The occasional fisherman, don't know if you can see that over there. And the guy fishing here, a few, few young people over there it looks like. Some kids or teens playing, but I think most people here are fishing or gathering driftwood. Uh, oh, there's a little village here. It's all those same types of roofs, but not much going on. A couple small shops I saw. Maybe you could, I'm, I, I imagine you could buy some food, uh, but I'm going to head on back. Do these sinks have water? They do not. Wash my hands. Okay. Bye, Cassie. I thought I might wash my hands because they feel real sticky and dirty. There, there was no water at those taps, but those ladies pointed me over here. Let's see if they're right. Yes, they are right. All right, guys. I'm gonna power down this drive. I'll check in with you later. Probably back in the city. Give you an update. Ah. All right, guys, I'm back in Jakarta, back in the city. I just returned the uh, rental scooter. Uh, I drove about 240K and I, there was still a bunch of gas left in it. So I actually bought gas unnecessarily today, but that's okay. I put in about over four, I'd say I burned maybe four liters to go 240K. So at least 60 kilometers per liter, I'd say is what I was getting, which I'm very happy with. And uh, so it was a pretty inexpensive day and a pretty cool adventure. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I'll see you soon in the next video.